I'm Carrie Robertson Meyer and I'm running for City Council District 1. I love Corpus Christi and I'm so excited to give back. the wind farm because I have more named a wind farm. Carrie four Robertson Meyer four four, four zero one Gulf Coast Boulevard. To that one in, I'm here to anything. talk about the but you know, right. Um I sit up on my deck every day. Me, I look out at that wind I farm and the water that is and the coolest thing. Is gonna be 13 million. I'm so glad that's there. And it seems like it's just so everyone in Corpus Christi will be paying for that. And I know it's clean. And we kind of need to and be paying for the infrastructure that we're really needing to rebuild here again. in the central city and, so we and other parts of town. So, have a wind farm. so a great spend trade 13 off. million for so that's my perspective. Everyone has the benefit of here. There's so many perspectives, and I guess and put it on the backs of everybody else perspective. seems and then make unfair to me. And I, respect um, I also feel that there so should be your job is not more, easy in this. Well, I'll just to tell you a little bit more about my perspective. The momentum of this, I've been talking to a lot of you in District One. I read the Northwest Corpus Christi Master Plan, which includes one of our Cal older Allen and parts of Annabelle. It's from 2001 when Bill Kelly represented that district, and it talks about annexation up there. But, they also have but that's a potential and they've been growth for a corridor. Time. So and a lot of that one hasn't been looked at, and that has been vetted, approved by city council about as an area where we could grow and annex. And the so to and have something like this come up in such a short of, time, and have it be discussed and voted on, and so what without I many people in our community even knowing about it. I ask people so about it all the time, sure oh, what's that? that we have all this so I think that it would be, I think that's going to take our eye off the ball. Of the council, we need to keep to our delay eye this. on the ball where you have it right and now. And another what y'all were talking about two hours some ago. are talking about that's the impact the to the navy. And if we start worrying I wonder, about where are where's we the grow navy? Next? We can keep going here to talking Island. about it we can and grow on the island. Them. We can do. And I have a friend who's I think that acquaintance the message that was we really high up in the navy, and he told me that the navy has been in negotiations with Apex for a year and a half, and they're nearing a memorandum of understanding. They're solving all the issues, I don't and know, they will release I that at the beginning of that myself. next year, at the beginning of 2015. So I would suggest that you delay this annexation and wait to really hear from the Navy way before we so use the sky as I don't have all the facts. As an excuse I mean, you guys have been in an executive session about this. I have you guys a know a lot more about it than I do. Um, Hi, I'm Carrie Robertson Meyer, and I'm running for City Council District 1. I live on North Beach, and together with the residents and the businesses, we've been making a lot of improvements over here over the past five years or so. One thing we haven't been able to accomplish yet, though, is improving our infrastructure. And I'm here to show you today one of the main problems, and that's water. This is just one water leak on one day, and we have these kinds of things all the time. You can see how much it's flooding the neighborhood and our streets. It's just the water pipes have given up and this is the water that we're drinking. We've told the city about it over and over and over again and we still haven't gotten any response. The water is leaking so much that it just pushes up the, the uh, asphalt. We're not even on the city's radar for getting new infrastructure and I'm working on changing that. In the distance, the blue building, that's Groomer's Seafood. It's a new business that spent about a million dollars building a facility on North Beach. And this is the infrastructure that they have to work with. They're having to put in all new water pipes in their block. And just the next block over, this is what happens. 
These are the water pipes that are having to be put in by the private developer who's come to our city. Because our infrastructure is inadequate, Ditches alongside the road here on North Beach are flooded. The city's done nothing about it, even though they've been alerted about it over and over and over again by residents. Especially the people who live right here in this little trailer park. There are the water trucks coming in to fix another leak. The city spends so much money just coming over to North Beach and other places in town that have the same problems to patch together to try to put band-aids on this old infrastructure. We need to make an investment in our city and fix the infrastructure that we have in place and then we need to uh, reward developers and builders who are willing to build on that existing infrastructure. That just makes sense. Is this how you want your city tax dollars to be spent? Because I don't. I have boots on the ground experience from making changes and making improvements on North Beach. Elect me as a city council representative for District 1 and I will help you in your neighborhood as well. Thanks a lot. I need your vote November 4th. Carrie Robertson Meyer. I appreciate your vote. Please call me if you need anything and if you'd like to talk to me because I want to talk to you. Vote Carrie Robertson Meyer, November 4th. Thank you. Robertson Meyer. I'm running for City Council District 1. I'm here at the Ar Antonio E. Garcia Art Center with a bunch of people in Head Start and they're saying sweep our city clean. Happy Earth Day everybody. Hi, I'm Carrie Robertson Meyer. I'm running for City Council District 1. It's Art Walk tonight in downtown, Friday, the first Friday, and I'm here at the Ritz Theater. We're having an event, and I'm with the uh, director of PATCH, which is a local nonprofit that is restoring the Ritz, and this is the director, Monica Sawyer. And Monica, tell me about what's going on tonight. We are here at Art Walk, and it's free to come down and come inside the Ritz and see what it's all about, because you really don't know this building has the potential it does until you step inside its walls. And it's an atmosphere theater. It looks like you're sitting inside a Spanish courtyard. You can come and actually see Del Mar students have redrawn the whole Ritz in architectural plans. You can see their plans on display. And at 7 o'clock, Stephen Hansen is going to be playing some live music for us. He's really great. It's worth it to come down and see this beautiful landmark. Right. I heard him warming up. Sounded really good. Some acoustic guitar. And there's all kinds of stuff going on at Art Walk tonight. So come on. Hey, I'm Terry Robertson Meyer. I'm running for City Council, District 1. I'm here at Corpus Christi Montessori School working with the Garden Club. And we are planting beans today in our garden, our corn garden. And let me see what we got. Let's see. There's the corn. We're planting beans. There's beans. And we're doing some companion planting. And these are kids after school just wanting to learn more about gardening. Robertson Meyer. I'm running for City Council District 1 and I'm so glad to be here with people who are focused on tourism because I'm focused on tourism. I moved here as a tourist. I came here as a tourist when I was little. I loved it so much that when I got to be an appointment in my life when I wanted to settle down, 
I moved to Corpus Christi and I bought a little house on North Beach and I can windsurf for my house and I love it there. I met a wonderful man here. He's a windsurfer and so we're like a new breed of people that's coming to this city because we love what it offers, the water, all the recreational opportunities. Now, I'm not just a windsurfer, I actually am a neighborhood organizer. I'm the president of the North Beach Community Association, a large group of about a thousand people on North Beach have all gotten together and redone our master plan. We've pushed for improvements. We've gotten improvements. There, the police have been over there. The city uh, Parks and Recreation has been cleaning it up. We've made huge strides. And that's the same energy that I want to bring across the bridge when I become your city council district one representative. I um, am very familiar with the C district. In fact, I just got finished uh, participating in the RUDAT study, which was a four day event with we had some out of town architects come and analyze our whole area which is going to be affected by that harbor bridge moving it's hard to talk about sidewalks and signage and lights without talking about the harbor bridge moving because that's the biggest thing coming to corpus christi and we got to be ready for it and we got to get in line for funding any funding that's available and we got to be focusing on that harbor bridge moving that's the biggest thing that's going to happen to the c district and north beach and downtown and we need to make sure that someone with energy and passion and enthusiasm is in that seat and experience working to make things better, and that's me. So I hope you'll vote for me and tell all your friends in District 1 to vote for me, Carrie Robertson Meyer. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mark. Carrie Robertson Meyer, in case you forgot. Um, I think that the best thing we could do in the District 1, which is North Beach, C District, downtown, uptown, that whole area, plus Cal Allen and, and uh, Annabelle and everything in between is to unite all of our tourism areas because right now it's like we have that 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 and that you pick what do you want to do but we got to make them all what we want to do we got to make them a package and I know that the CBB has already been working on that by having like a, a, a pass that you can buy to go to everything but we need to not only make it easier for the tourists we need to get all those people who run those attractions to work together instead of saying hey man that's mine and that's mine and that's mine we need to all be going this is ours and we're going to build it together and i am on the downtown revitalization alliance committee it's put, it was put together by the downtown management district i'm the north beach representative there's an uptown representative <clears throat> excuse me um okay there's downtown uptown north beach and i'm the north beach person and we're all working together that's our goal is to solve all, all of our problems together and also to have a uniform look for our tourism area make it like oh yeah i know i'm in corpus christi because that and that and that it's not all disjointed it's more one big package kind of like san antonio's river walk but have it be corpus christi's whatever we're going to call it so the beach walk maybe thank you good evening everyone i'm carrie robertson meyer i'm running for city council district one everyone here tonight is going to tell you that they love the police department that's why we're here right i have a personal experience with the police department and that my sister is or was married to a chief of police and her son is a policeman and his brother is now a new policeman or a new uh, sheriff's deputy actually so i know what it's like to send the ones you love out the door every morning in a uniform with a gun and i know the sacrifices that the families in corpus christi make uh, to keep our uniformed officers on the street putting their lives on the line for all of us every day so I want to say thank you for that. I work with the police officers myself as a neighborhood volunteer and neighborhood advocate and I have for many years since I first moved to North Beach and looked down the street and saw prostitutes walking by and drug deals being made. And when I see a wrong, I make it right. And I started making calls and I invited the police to neighborhood meetings and we met right in my front yard and I showed them pictures and we talked about what we're going to do. And you know what? There are no prostitutes and drug dealers walking down my street anymore. We fix those problems and we fix a lot of other problems. I'm the president of the North Beach Community Association, so like a thousand members. And now our problems that we talk to the police about are people are illegally parking and there are transients drinking down the street in the park. Those are our problems. So they've gone, they've gotten a lot less bad and it's a lot in a big part due to the police department. I especially thank the Delta District for patrolling our neighborhood at night. It's really important to us. Um, and I want to keep 
enough officers on the beat so that we can keep all of our neighborhoods safe. Thank you. I'm Carrie Robertson Meyer. I'd really appreciate your vote on number four on the ballot.